and here come the teams. Led out by referee Paul Howard. The shots in their familiar home kit of red and blue stripes, red shorts and red socks. Stockport in a colour that I should get my co-commentator to describe shortly. It's somewhere in the green variant on the lighter side. Peppermint. Peppermint, I'll go with that. A very good afternoon to you, Steve Gibbs. Good afternoon. Looking forward to this one, of course, as are a crowd of somewhere between four and a half and 5,000 here at the EBB Stadium. A packed East Bank away to our left. Good contingent from Stockport County as well. The shots will line up as follows. Number one, Jordi van Stapperscherf in goal. Number three, Ollie Harfield. Captain number four, Kean Harris and Kobe Rowe, number five, the three centre-backs. Ryan Glover, number 11 on the left wing-back. Haji Minoga, number two right wing-back. Tyler Frost and Tommy Willard in centre midfield. And then Josh Stokes in the number 10 position, wearing the number 10 shirt, behind strikers Lauren Tolage, number nine, and Jack Barham, number 22. Yes, Stockport should win but they've made a few changes. This is not their first choice lineup by any means. And this is the magic of the FA Cup. And we're underway here at the EBB. Ball played long over the head of Wooten. Glover tidies it up, goes back to Van Stapperschurf. Tolad gets the ball through to Barham. He may get a chance early on. He's into the penalty area, squares it. Saved by the feet of Hinchcliffe and headed behind. Early opportunity for shots inside the first minute who win a corner, Steve Gibbs. Fantastic, vibrant front foot start from the shots, already serving notice of their intention and their ability this afternoon. They're going to cause this Stockport defence all sorts of problems, particularly that front three. They've all been heavily involved in the opening 75 seconds. If the player who's receiving it and the player who's sending it both know where it's going, but the defender doesn't, it's so much harder to mark. It is, yeah, and Barham knew that it wasn't essentially an outlet ball from uh, from Stokes, but Barham was right onto it. Good win from Glover to nick the ball. He's made his way over half like, halfway line. He's up against two defenders. He's still got it. He's still trapped out there, but he's still got it. Now the ball inside, looking for Stokes. Can he get it out of his feet? Shot, deflection, goal! Josh Stokes gives all the shot down a deserved lead. A wicked deflection that deceived Hinchcliffe. He'd gone the wrong way. But I suspect the shot was on target. And Josh Stokes scores for the shots in the 10th minute. All the shot town one, Stockport County nil. Well, it's difficult to say with nine minutes 40 on the clock that the goal has been coming, but the shots have started superbly. They started on the front foot, not cowed by their, their high-flying opponents. And they absolutely deserve that lead. And it is that old cliche. Josh Stokes bought the ticket. And whether a deflection, whether it was going in anyway, doesn't matter. He's won the lottery and put the shots 1-0 up. And that's the thing. When your team makes a really positive, domineering start, has a few half chances, they need to capitalise upon it. Throw in taken quickly by Stockport County, who trail here. Terrific form all season, roaring away at the top of League Two. Here's Byrne coming forward. Is he going to try a shot here for the edge of the area? Oh, what a goal that is from Neil Byrne. What an absolute corker. Just wasn't challenged, ran further and further forward. Let rip and let fly. And Stockport County are level within three minutes of the shots taking the lead. And it's all the work of the returning centre-back, Neil Byrne. Yeah, first off, superb shot, superb finish. Van Stappenschiff left, grasping thin air, but... Where was the shots midfield? Where was the defence? Who was engaging the ball carrier as he just strode forward through the wide open spaces of that half? He should have been tackled. He should have been closed down. Someone should have blocked that. Nothing to take away from the finish because it's absolutely superb. It's far better than you'd expect from a, a bit part centre-back, but it was brilliant. But that Jordi van Stappenschiff quite rightly asking questions of the players in front of him. Here's Kean Harry sending the ball out to the right channel. Uh, Bar uh, Minoga gets his head on it and retrieves his own header. It's being held up now, turns it inside to, to Tolaj, who 
Tries an elaborate turn, doesn't quite come off, but he recovers well and feeds Harfield. Harfield's got Glover outside of him and he uses him now. Goes for the return ball. Glover's gone past his man. He's beaten players like he never used to. Great stuff from Ryan Glover. Skipping inside. Now a little ball around the corner into the feet of Stokes. Wrestles away from his man. Can he get a shot away? Just wide. Just wide from the shots number 10. And the first chance for the shots probably since they took the lead, Steve. Coming in the 27th minute and it remains one all. Yeah, Stokes did superbly well there to wriggle and wrestle and squirm his way to turn and then find the space and shake off the man. Wooten wonders where his options are. Gives the ball back to Torre. All the shot have got bodies back. Torre skipping across the area. Uh, finds Nick Powell. Powell to the edge of the area, running in, shoots. And it's a weak shot, but it is placed well. And Van Stappershoef eventually falls on it. And thankfully, there's no Stockport County player running in. And uh, Steve is the uh, two of the uh, minimum of four ad minutes, uh, added minutes pass by. It remains one all. Nick Powell's won it. And he goes uh, back to Noyles, plays it forward, held up by the chest of Wooten, turns the ball around the corner, swept nicely into position for Southam Hales. Early ball in, Nick Powell squares it across, and it's tucked in at the far post by who else? Paddy Madden. He's been all the shots enemy before and he's done it again. And Stockport County have scored in the opening seconds of the second half through Paddy Madden. All the shot town one, Stockport County two. Yeah, barely 30 seconds gone in the second half and Stockport are able to sweep down the right hand side. A little bit too easy for them, but an excellent cross. And yeah, Paddy Madden, a bit part player at Stockport, albeit team captain, but yeah, he's been the poacher extraordinaire for many, many years and he's done it against far better teams than Aldershot Town and where Aldershot Town would have come out for the second half with optimism, now they've got it all to do. Stockport 1-0 down but now 2-1 up. Need to go direct, Thomas is the man. Ball forward is headed by Powell, inadvertently I'd say into the path of Southam Hales. He's now given it back to Powell. And. Uh, now Stockport get in on the right-hand side with Wooten, he squares it, and Madden gets a shot away, that's blocked, another shot comes in, that's blocked, and Harfield will clear away. Now in Noyle, Noyle to Southam Hales, lovely cross from him, headed away by Kean Harris, up towards Stokes, who's looking to shake off his man. Kwame Thomas into the path of Toladj, and Stokes is free on the far side if he can find him, he might, controls it now, and SCORES! Josh Stokes! What a counter-attack from the shots! Quite brilliantly executed. Stokes with his second of the game. And the shots are level again. Aldershot Town 2, Stockport County 2. What a cut time we have. It's game, up, game on again. Shots right back in this, and that's the lethal counter-attack. All three strikers involved. Thomas winning the brave, strong header. Tolaj breaking across halfway and then in slippy conditions, having the quality to measure that pass. And then Josh Stokes, one-on-one -on -one with Hinchliffe, still having a lot to do, but having the composure and the quality to just slot it into the bottom corner like it's the end of training, like it's finishing practice at the end of training on a Tuesday afternoon, not like it's before a four and a half thousand, nearly 5,000 crowd the cameras are watching, the whole of Aldershot is watching, and that's the quality that Josh Stokes has got. 2-2, two -two, game on. Here's Harfield, uh, ends up on the floor, Stockport have got it, Wooten in the edge of the area, and they've got it now, ball into the air, shot comes in, it's saved by Van Stappershoef from Odin Bailey, when Bailey probably should have scored, and the shots this time, having scored, have got to keep Stockport County out now. Here's Southam Hales, short corner, back to Bailey, squared across, cleared away. Some, some thoughts in some heads on the pitch, on the bench. Do you stick, do you twist, do you go for the winner here and now? But that could be dangerous, but bravery, who knows? You could. Good save, Good save from Van Stappershoff there. Uh, as the ball came in, you'd expect him to parry that away. 
And he did so, but Aldershot just coming under a bit of immediate threat here from Stockport, who are not top of League Two for no reason, Steve, are they? I mean, we've given them rightly the credit they do deserve, but it's not counting for anything out there today. It's come virtually from nowhere. I think uh, a couple of uh, Stockport players might have known of his quality. Oh, ball. three on two here for Stockport. Madden's got it into the penalty out to the right hand side. Uh, and his shot is parried behind Powell for a corner. Come on, Aldershot, hold it steady here now. You're back in the game, you've got a foothold. At the moment, it's at least a replay, so do not concede again if you possibly can. All hands on deck, though, now, as this corner will be taken by Macaulay Southam Hales. Brilliantly. He's a real technician, we don't talk about that enough. That is brilliant control. Find Glover. Glover now, Harfield on the overlap. Manages to get his cross in anyway. Stokes, turn, one way, then the other. Shoots blocked by the feet of Hinchliff. And that's how close Stokes was to a hat-trick. Here's Willard, shoots, that's blocked as well. But no, but it was a superb piece of play from Josh Stokes, and he, he has been outstanding this afternoon. Whatever level he plays at, whatever challenge is put in front of him, he rises to it, and he shows his quality, and he belies his tender age. This is a boy who is going to have a fantastic career in football. Grab that little bit of extra distance, and the defensive line is five or six yards outside the Aldershot Town penalty area. We're in the dying seconds here. The ball comes in, headed back across. It's missed at the far post, palmed wide. Stockport have still got it, and then it's blazed over the bar by the replacement substitute and captain Sarsevich. Second time he's blazed it over. And as the goal gaped, Steve, it was always going to be a difficult one. Plenty of bodies in front of him, but he lost his composure for a player that's played at a higher level and blazed it over the bar. Yeah, played at a higher level for much, much of his career. I think he's so experienced that he was in the crew side when Aldershot Town was still in the Football League over 10 years ago. So far, added time has only seen two shots blazed over the bar by that man, Anthony Sarsevich. 90 plus two, 90 plus six. Sixth place Aldershot Town in the National League. Harfield with the free kick, deep into the heart. The keeper Hinchliff rises and catches it and looks to bowl it out to the right-hand side, the left-hand side. Fro frosts up against his man. He wriggles away from him, turns one way, then the other. There is the final whistle. And National League Aldershot Town have deservedly earned themselves a trip to Edgeley Park on Tuesday, the 12th of December for an FA Cup second round replay, the winner of which will go on to play away at West Brom at the Hawthorns. A creditable effort from the shots this afternoon, taking the lead with Josh Stokes, being pegged back by Stockport, Neil Byrne, and then uh, Paddy Madden put Aldershot to the sword 2-1, or so we thought, but no, Aldershot hung in there. And a counter-attacking goal with Thomas Tolage and that man Stokes involved again made it 2 all. That's how it ends here at the EBB. Final scoreline, Aldershot Town 2, Stockport County 2.